Okay, so I just got stopped in Fall Frias, Texas. Um, done with my load to Texas, and I decided I'm gonna reset here this weekend. And uh, I was doing my post trip walk around and um, noticed that I had a shock absorber missing. Uh, the dust cover had fallen down. Now I don't know if that is a DOTable offense. The shock itself is not blown, but it is a broken piece under the truck it would you couldn't get that cover off it's all steel you couldn't get that cover off um, without taking that shock actually off so I don't know if it's actually uh, would be like a some sort of a offense but uh, you definitely don't want stuff like that hanging out you know when they see it and um, so the better you can keep your truck looking um, the less likely they are to keep looking so I'm gonna go work on that. We'll see if I can get any good shots of it. It's really not a brain teaser how to change a shock absorber. Now, I don't have any penetrating oil. I looked all over the truck, um, but I had an empty jug of uh, 1540, and I just turned it over and flipped a little bit of oil collecting the cap. So I'm just gonna put a few drops on there. Obviously penetrating oil is better if you don't have any this will work. Take my finger like that. It's oil so it it has kind of like a leaching property. Not going to penetrate as fast as penetrating oil but it will seep its way around and it'll um, let that those nuts come off easier. Okay, so we got the old one out. It's still good. The shock absorber itself is still absorbed shock, but with that cover broken off, it's not good. I got this new one here. Um, I'm not gonna do the other side because they still absorb shock, but uh, this one actually might have, you know, could have got a guy in trouble. So I'm not gonna do an unnecessary repair out on the road just in case something goes wrong. It's better to just um, do what you gotta do and then. Um, do the do the other stuff when you get home. Okay, when you install these, they put the top on first. And then you're gonna cut this. The problem is when you cut this, it's gonna start coming out um, extending. And so you have like like a split second as it's extending to slam it on this right where my finger's pointing. Oh yeah, she goes right on. So I put that one on and then you gotta slide this out. Don't tighten it up all the way, just get a couple threads. Now give you your play down here that you need to wiggle it sideways. Um, there's probably another way, but this is how I do it. And yes, I'm laying on the, the ground in a truck stop parking lot, but I'm gonna go take a really hot shower after this. And after that, I'm gonna go get that restaurant right there. Looks like a really good food. like that. While you're down here getting trucker pee all over you, just throw this one right back on. Tighten it till the rubber squeezes out about even with the metal strap. This one's going to start to skip because my I don't have a deep socket for this one, but I get it on as much as I can until it looks like it's about to start skipping and then I use, I go back to the old press print. 
you know, that passenger side was so easy to do. Um, and it's so warm down here, so cold back home. I think I'd be a fool not to replace this other side. There are two nuts, two washers, and it's really not that hard. So I am gonna do the driver's side. And so I'm down here and uh, I was working on my front shock up here and I kept hearing this pelting and then I heard a couple of bang bangs. So I go out here behind my truck and these guys right here are shooting. And I don't care, I, I like shooting guns, I support hunting. These guys shot the back of this truck and a bunch of pellets hit it. And a bunch of pellets hit in the grass right here. There was a guy parked right here. He actually got hit with some of the pellets. And uh, I just called 911 to let him know that, hey, uh, he needs to be aware of his muzzle and where he's shooting. I don't know, I don't know those guys and I'm not going up to a truck full of rednecks with guns in Texas. There's absolutely no way. So we'll see how this plays out. I don't know if I'll be able to get any of this on, on uh, camera. So obviously super easy a couple of nuts a couple of bolts i think if i missed on the way down i think you can just put all your weight on it and shove it back together um i did some on my 69 ford one time and they have spring overs so they came back right away and i had to use a jack and everything else to uh get them pushed back up so i could get them on so yeah, I don't think I was. I needed to be as worried as I was. Yeah, that was my experience, was a spring over shock absorber, and the second you let that thing off, you weren't getting it back together. So I'm gonna button it up here. It's a good thing I did do the driver's side because the driver's side shock is blown. So thanks a lot, Illinois. Utah, you got some. Northern Texas has some rough ones. Oklahoma, Oklahoma just gave up. They got like a toll road. It says toll road, so you have to pay to drive on this, basically like a dirt bike track, you know. If you go fast enough, you just skip the top and uh, a little bit smoother ride. So anyhow, guys, I'm going to get her all, uh, all buttoned up, put all my tools put away. And uh, I will show you the one problem with doing repairs on the road. I'm going to wash this off somehow. I'll be the first to admit that I do not know it all. I don't know it all about trucks. I don't know it all about trucking. I'm not the world's greatest mechanic. I'm not the world's greatest driver. Um, kind of take it apart see how it comes apart and then figure out how it goes back together i have done shocks before but it's been a while and i mean like 10 years a while and the last shocks that i did were on my 1969 f-250 and they have coil over shocks because uh, my grandpa used to have a camper on there coil over shocks they will come back at you right now so uh, the last shocks i did besides the truck i did the ones on the truck um a year ago or so um before that uh i missed on the way down and i don't know how i don't know how long it took me all half a day of using bottle jacks and this and that i know you're supposed to use a spring compressor i don't have one so you know just have it figured out with what you got but i think if you miss i think you can just like put all your weight down on the the shock scoot it back together there's any like real good mechanics that know what's going on um feel free to to tell us uh how a shock works because uh i was so worried about replacing them as i figured if i missed that bottom post i'd have to drive it to a shop uh without a shock absorber in there so but we got her how many other wannabe mechanic wannabe youtubers like me have engine grease and engine oil on their tripods and things like that just curious